Hello everybody and welcome to this quick video. We are in Sirencester at the moment at the UK Detailing Academy and Dimitri has popped over from Belgium. Hello. And Dimitri works for Kenotech. That's correctly. I'm an export sales manager for Kenotech and um, I'm here in the UK today. And Kenotech is a company that's been around for about 30 years. It's around 30 years. The company exists around 30 years but Kenotech only exists for let's say the brand Kinotech, 15 mm. years. 15 years, so it's still well established. Um, yes. And in the UK, it's actually been available in the UK through more than polish with Mark Wibberley, hasn't it, for a while? Yes, that's correctly. And uh, you can find it also in, in some detailing centers. So they sell one liter bottles, uh, ceramic coating, mm -hmm. so you can find it all over the UK. Yes. So it is available, but in terms of the brand awareness, it's quite low. So when we met at the car wash show in uh, Amsterdam in the Netherlands about a month ago now, yeah. um, we said, why not come over to the UK and uh, talk to us on camera about the products and about what you do? Because uh, I know our watchers and readers love to know about the latest and greatest products coming out. Yes, we have many things to go for next year. That's, uh, <laughs> 2020 is going to be promising. That's what we, that's what we say. Yeah. It's going to be a big year. And the um, specialism that you've had in the past really is more the kind of the car wash sides and the bulk chemical sides. Yeah, so Kinotech is a range. Uh, we began with chemicals to clean trucks because our main uh, activity is uh, selling chemicals for animal health. Okay. So disinfections. Um, so that's how we started from cleaning trucks into car wash into our one liter range and now we go to, to coatings as well next year. So it's going very much from, from the car wash environment up upgrading so to speak to the enthusiast and the yep. professional detailer with the coatings and the rest of this range. Now correctly. You brought over a, a lovely big stash of chemicals for us. Um, yeah. I tell you what, let's not go through them all. No. What I want to do is, the, the product first of all that I wanted to talk about is Showroom Shine. So this is a quick detailer. Quick detailer, yeah. Um, does it impart any sort of protection or is it really just a visual kind of a gloss boost? It get, it's a visual gloss boost, um, but when you use it on the car, afterwards if you rub it you will feel it's got that smooth how smooth view. it is because it fills up all the, the pores in the lacquer. And that's a, a little a little technical point there. You'll notice Dimitri felt with the back of his hand, that's the way to do it, because the front of your hand, your fingertips have got grease and stuff on. So if you feel with the back of your hand, you're not going to be imparting anything to the car, or certainly less. That's how you do it, yes. So Showroom Shine is pretty popular. Um, it yeah. is one that I've come across. I think this is probably the first product of yours I, I used way back when. Um, and uh, it was a very impressive one. It's certainly worth having a go. Um, what is your, if you're not this one, what is your favorite product from this, this lineup? Oh. I have, yeah, difficult to say, I like them all, but I would say Wheel Cleaner Ultra, because this is pH neutral cleaner, Okay. Um, gives uh, the red uh, effect. Okay, so it's a bleeding, it's a fallout remover uh, yeah. wheel cleaner. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, and it's, uh, yeah, you can use it on every quality of rims, so okay. no risk of damage over whatsoever. Even sort of on really delicate paint finishes on chrome and stuff yeah. like that? Yeah, no, no worries, no worries. Okay. It's pH neutral, it smells a little bit, but it's a hell of a good product. That's well, they all say. smell. I have to admit, the only one that I found is the Meg's Ultimate Wheel Cleaner that um, has a fallout removing element, and that's the only one that didn't smell of hauling. Yeah. Um, and we don't know how they've yeah. done it, but they have done it. So uh, we've got this wheel cleaner here. And what are your plans? You're on a little tour of the UK this week. I'm on a tour in the UK, visit, of course, you, um, but also visiting some existing customers, try to achieve more sales. And of course, we cannot avoid it. I wanted to be here before the Brexit at the end of October. Yeah. So that's uh, the reason for my trip now. Um, we have some new products in the range. We want to do some testing, mm -hmm. we'll take some feedback back to our head office in, uh, in Belgium, and yeah, work for on the new products for, for next year. Yeah, I, I think an important thing is they're all made in Belgium, aren't they? All made in Belgium, uh, Belgium in Ypres. Um, Ypres. And um, you, uh, do you make products for other people or is it Kenotech only what, what Kenotech makes goes in Kenotech bottles? Uh, what Kenotech made goes in Kenotech bottles, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So that's quite good. Quite often the bigger chemical companies. Of course, companies. yeah. Private label is something, yeah, sometimes you can't avoid it but we want to promote our, our brand of course, which is, which is normal. Absolutely. And what's your, what are you looking for in the UK? Are you looking for resellers? Are you looking for detailers to try it out? What's, what's your message to the watchership? For those thinking, oh, I quite like the look of these. But we are already active here with more than polish, so I give them my support to say, okay, the coating is for you, you can do the one liter bottles, mm -hmm. but you want to push a little bit more to car wash. Gotcha. Not the hand car wash, but really the automated machines, because then we as Kinotech can also show our knowledge how to help people. 
you have bad smell with your water quality, uh, we can measure dilutions and we can help so car wash and the customer. And I suppose on car wash side, you're talking big volume as well, aren't you? I mean, what, what sort of volume, a typical automatic car wash, do they only buy in big outputs? Difficult to say because it all depends on, on, on the weather, it depends on, uh, yeah, uh, do you attract people if you have a good location with the car wash, yes or no? But okay, that there are some car washes who can easily spend up to 30,000 euros with, with chemicals. Blimey, is that per, per month, per year? That's per year. Yeah. Per year. Let's, so say, let's say a big conveyor tunnel car wash mm. can go up to 30, 35,000 euros in chemicals. And I imagine they get quite a good deal. I mean, that's got to be a lot of chemicals, 30,000. That's, that's a lot of chemicals, yeah. You were saying some buy, buy the truckloads, that's literally the kind of the, the, the measure that they do? Well, most of them don't buy per truckload. It depends if it's a group of car washes. We say, okay, one company but owns four different mm -hmm. locations, then they can buy up to, to one truck because then they make a lot of benefits. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, it'd be really interesting to see how Canotech develop in the UK and how grown. I'm sure uh, a lot of enthusiasts would like to know. So you go to the more than polished websites where you can buy it from online, I guess. You can buy it online. You can, there are locations in the UK. You can find it everywhere. That's brilliant. Almost everywhere. Almost everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for your time. And no worries. Look forward to developments. Yes, thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.